What's up guys, this is Josh back with another video and today I want to show you guys a tool for the command line that will help you out with your networking. Yeah, so as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to show you guys a tool that you can install on Linux that can help you with networking. Now, I studied networking in the beginning of my IT career. That was one of the things I really wanted to get into was be a network administrator. I was gonna take the CCNA. Uh, I already took the, I took the CompTIA Network Plus. So I was headed down that route to get into computer networking. And one of the problems or one of the, the issues I always had a headaches with uh, was calculating subnet mass. You know, it was real tough for me to figure all that out. Uh, I was good with math and I learned like a formula that would help me, you know, calculate the uh, subnet mass and all that stuff for, you know, uh, network segmenting networks and all that stuff. Well, I wanted to show you guys a tool that'll make a lot of that very simple and it can be installed right in the Linux command line. So let's hop over to my virtual machine. I'll show you guys this command. Before we move forward, I wanted to ask the Keep It Techie fan to consider joining my channel membership. By joining the membership, you can support the channel, get access to member only videos, tech mentorship, early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. All right, cool. So in today's demonstration, I'll be using Pop! OS, uh, which is a Ubuntu-based distribution. So the commands are pretty much the same as running in Ubuntu uh, as far as installing the application. The application is called IPCalc. Uh, and like I said, it's a command line utility. So let's go down and get it installed. I'll show you guys how to install it right fast. Super simple. First thing you want to do is update your system and refresh the repository. So sudo apps updates. This will refresh those repositories for us. Uh, type in our sudo password. Boom. And so it'll, you know, refresh, see if there's any updates for the system. As you can see, we don't have any updates on the system. So we can go on and install the application. So all we have to do is type sudo apps install. And the application, like I said, is called IP calc and it should be in all the major repositories so let's go down and press enter um, i'm sure you can install this on orch you can install it on any other you know distribution out there i just want to show you guys on pop os but it's a very small application doesn't take too long to install as you can see it only took a couple seconds uh now let's go down and run the man command so we can check out uh ip calc at least look at the um you know the options that you have for it so ip calc and it says in ip version 4 net mass broadcast etc calculator so super cool application the synopsis you know ip calc the options the address you know mass whatever uh, now the description ip calc takes an ip version 4 address and network network and NetMass and calculates the resulting broadcast network Cisco wildcard mass and host range. By giving a second NetMass, you can design sub and super networks. It is also intended to be a teaching tool to present the results as easy to understand binary values. So super simple, it gives you, it even gives you the binary values. So super dope. And here are a couple of the options, dash N, uh, no color, uh, dash B. I mean, it's just options to you know, help with the results that are pulled up. But just wanted to at least show you guys that, you know, uh, dash C for the class, just to print the uh, bit count mass of a given address, uh, HTML version. So you can uh, display the results as HTML. So it pop up, you can open it up in a browser, uh, version, uh, splits. And let's go down and quit right fast and actually run the version. Uh, so IP calc, that's the first one I want to run. Uh, and then dash V and press enter. And that should give us the version of his dot five. So that's the current version of IP calc that it as at least in the Ubuntu repository or Pop OS repository. Uh, that's the latest version. 
Now, let's go down and run our first uh, command using IP calc. So IP calc or our calculation. So uh, IP calc and all we have to do is type in a IP address. So whatever IP address you wanna set for your network. So let's try 192.168.10.1. Zero and press enter, and it will give us all our information for it. As you can see, it breaks it all down so the IP address, uh, in binary, as well as the net mass. So it's a 24, you know, net mass, um, and then your wild core is 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.255. So boom, it's got the binary as well, and it's color. You know, it's, it's super cool the way they do it. And then the network, so 192.168.10.0, and then 24 of a net mass, and then your host minimum and your host maximum. So you got, you know, all those addresses you can use within there. And then the broadcast address, which is obviously the last IP address, uh, and then host and network, or host and host and network. So you have 254 hosts. Uh, so that kind of explains that right there and then it's a class so if you guys didn't know about IP addresses there are different classes class A class B class C and this is a class C address uh, and private internal is typically used on an internal network so this 192 address that's why typically when you purchase a new router it comes with an address of like 192.168.1.1 or 0 0.1 or something to that effect it's a you know internal or a private ip address that most people use on internal networks that's why it comes with that by default instead of like a 10 address or a 10 dot whatever address or a class b address a class a address so just wanted to point that out now let me show you guys something cool because um for one this is simply a calculator so you don't have to worry about your system being affected by it uh you can play around with these ip addresses so let's say we want to run that same ip address but we can look at like a different subnet uh, and we can use just a CIDR. Uh, so we can use that 192.168.10.0. Let's put a forward slash and let's put a 16, you know, network. So let's press enter. Boom. It'll break, break it all down for you as well using that net mass of 16. And as you can see, you know, it breaks it all down for you. So host minimum uh, 0 0.1, uh, host max uh, 255. Uh, dot 254 and the broadcast is going to be that 255.255 um, and then look at it look at the host amount so <laughs> you got 65,000 hosts um, that can be on this network it's class C network as well private internet um, but you, like I said you can put whatever you want in these commands and then also let's say you want to figure out a network for a specific uh, amount of host uh, let's say you want to look at uh, 192.168.10.1 and then there's an option uh, called split so you can type that in so dash s lowercase s and then let's say we only want to look for something for like 20 hosts and then let's say uh, 80 hosts so all you have to do is put a space between them so and that split is just so it can specify the amount of hosts that you want uh, you know separately like like the results separately so it'll have one you know one separate section for the 20 and then one separate section for that 80 so scroll down press enter boom and as you can see it's two results that'll pop up you know what I'm saying? And you'll lose hosts. This it shows you the unused hosts um, that that you will have in that network. And like I said, it'll break it out. So as you can see, you got one, two uh, results. So you got requested size, 20 hosts. Boom. So it'll break it down. Uh, you'll have 30 under this network. And then under here, you have 126. So it kind of calculates based on you know the best network for whatever you're trying to set up the network for uh and give you all the information for it so it's super cool uh <laughs> this is dope
so i hope you guys enjoyed the video that's a simple command like i said that you can install on any of your linux distributions that allow you to calculate those subnet masks as well as you know calculating ips in general you know what i'm saying so you can see the binary and like i said in the beginning this was something that i struggled with when i was going through networking you know working with subnets and i know there's plenty of calculators out there online their websites you can type in an ip address and it'll give you you, you know all that same information but it's super cool to actually do it from the command line on your system you know what i'm saying you don't have to go to the internet for anything you can uh install this application and then you can calculate all the ips that you want you know what i'm saying and i actually used this program a while back uh when i was setting up my own network you know and creating segments and subnets and all that stuff um at my house so it's super dope this tool comes in handy you know what i'm saying even if you're just gonna use it you know for your personal uh network at the house but please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and of course keep the tech